we've teamed up with Simon Games and Guillotine Games on the newest expansion to the Zombicide universe, Zombicide Invader, which pits settlers in the far reaches of outer space against infected aliens. And we're going to be painting up one of those infected models today. So let's get right to it. We're going to be following along with the box start. In order to do that, we will start with a Prime of Color Primer Wolf Gray. We'll be using Xenos Carapace, Armor Gray, Abomination White, Tentacle Red, Rigid Leather, Gun Black, and of course, Invader Shader. Now, this is not going to be an advanced tutorial. We want to get these models painted as quickly as possible to get them on the table and slaying those infected aliens as quickly as possible. Without further ado, we begin by using a light mixture of Xenos Carapace and Gun Black. Now, we're going to apply this centered around the back of the model. This is watered down because we're just going to feather this in over the shoulders, down the arms, down the spinal column of the model. With that all dry, we are going to add a little bit more black into the mix. Again, this is lightly watered down. So when we apply this, it's much easier to work with because we're feathering this in. Again, we're kind of blending this into the already wet paint here. This is a nice, quick, and simple technique and achieves some great gradients and results. We're focusing this more on the center of the back over the tops of the shoulders and of course down at the bottoms of the feet, following along with the box art as closely as we can. You see here, I'm not being too precise, just kind of moving that paint around where we need it to be, blending it in to the model as best as we can. And here's what it looks like when it's dried. It does actually dry a bit lighter. So we're going to go back in with a little bit more black mixed into our previous mixture. And we're going to focus this at the very center of the spine. Now careful not to add too much black because the blacker that we get, the less detail and definition that we're going to get in the washing stage. This is a very, very dark gray. As you see here, we're focusing this in just on the center of the spine, the tops of the shoulders, and the bottoms of the feet. This is very thin down paint, so we can work with it. We can blend it in and move it around. This is very quick work. Obviously, you see, not extremely precise. Now we're going to take a light mixture of Xenos Carapace and Armor Gray, and we're going to focus this in on the center of the chest, the belly, and the tops of the thighs, as well as the face. And you can see it here with that mixture dried up on the tops of the thighs. We're going to go back in with pure armored gray and reinforce that blend in the center of the chest and the tops of the thighs and, of course, on the face, as you can see here. Because it's watered down, it gives us a lot of time to work with it and push that paint around. Again, this isn't very precise. This is a very fluid painting style, just trying to blend it in in layers. And here's what the model looks like with all of the grayish blue tones complete. We're going to go back in with tentacle red and base all of the obvious areas like the tentacles that he has on the sides of his face and growing out of his mouth. And we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to apply this to the hands. This is a red paint, so we're going to apply it in two thin coats. More solid at the ends of the hands, and we're going to fade it back just as we did in the previous steps into those bluish grays down the forearms of the model. Just follow those steps on both of the hands like so. And as you can see here, it's a pretty neat effect. Very alien looking, very ominous. We also apply tentacle red to the toenails and claws of the model. And here's what it looks like all dried up. We're going to add some of that rigid brown to the stone that our alien hunter is perched on top of. We'll also paint the entirety of the base in gun black. We did that off camera just to save some time here. Now that we've base coated the entirety of the model, we're going to add some depth and realism to the model by adding a wash to it. Now, the Zombicide Invader shader is specifically designed to run into the recesses of the model to add that extra depth and realism that we just spoke about. So let's get right to it. Now we've watered down the wash just a little bit because if we use it right out of the pot, it is very, very dark. And you can even see with the watered down Invader shader, it does have a nice dark effect. We're going to apply this all over the model, starting at the top of the model and working our way down. Now, before it dries, you wanna make sure that you move the paint around. You don't want it to pull up too much. So with a wet brush, you just push that paint around, let it find its way into the recesses, and it's gonna add almost instant depth and realism to the model, just like that. So as you can see from the top down, 
we are working that invader shader all across the model. And here you see the finished model from the Zombicide Invader paint set. Our Alien Hunter is complete. It took us about 30, maybe 35 minutes to complete, not including drying time from priming to washing the model. Our goal here was to get this painted as quickly as possible to a nice effect to really impress your friends when you get those models on the table. And you're gonna have to paint a lot of them. So quickness is key here. Now remember, when you're painting your Zombicide Invader set, especially the Alien Tanks, the Alien Hunters from the set, keep those paints watered down and those blends nice and smooth. You don't have to be too precise with your brushwork. And as you can see here, it's a really neat effect. Those red hands look super alien, those big tentacles coming right at you. I wouldn't wanna run across this guy out in real life, let alone on the tabletop. And that's it for our Alien Hunter. A big thanks goes out to Simon Games and Guillotine Games for sending it along for me to paint for you. It really was a blast. If you'd like to get your hands on the Zombicide Invader paint set, be sure to ask your friendly local game store. Head on over to www.amazon.com and search for it there or anywhere else you fulfill your hobby needs. Of course, to learn more, head on over to www.thearmypainter.com. <laughs>